him teaching the things that you know we know now is going to help us in the long run. Yeah. What, okay. kind of, what kind of head coach do you think he'll be? I mean, uh, he seems with us. Yeah, Coach Howard's going to be a great coach yeah. wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. Whatever he do, he's going to be good. Are there some benefits to having different coaches and being able to learn from different people different things that they might teach you? Yeah, um, I think everybody, I mean, it's not the same, so you can get a little bit from here and there from everybody. How beneficial is it that you've also been coached by Matt Barnes this year and that he'll still be around? Uh, just having a familiar face um, and that uh, it's not going to leave or in there, whatever, um, it's good too. What the defense, Brian Day says the defense won't be changing. How much does that help as well? Uh, yeah, that helps a lot. Just knowing we already uh, know what's to come and um, just playing the defense that you know, we've been doing great in. What has he told you about who who will be replacing you? I know he said he'll go get the best coach coach in the country. Yeah, uh, we don't know yet. You know, I'm not sure, but whoever it is, going to be going to be the best. How close were you two guys personally? Were you pretty were you pretty close yeah, with Phil? We pretty close. Um, you know, uh, he's a family guy. You know, he cares a lot about each and one of each everybody um, on the team. And um, uh, we're gonna miss him. What so. made him special? I mean, the defense from it's been well documented last year to this year. He's he gets a big lot of credit for the change that's happened. Yeah. What if you had to kind of pinpoint what makes him special as a coach? Uh, he's very smart. He knows, like I said, him coming from the NFL and him learning from, I guess, there and then bringing it here. Um, what's going to happen before it happens? Yeah. Obviously, he's sticking around to coach you guys through the playoff. What's the communication been like just the last few days in terms of you know him continuing to work with you guys while he's was at Boston College this morning? Um, I don't feel like anything has changed. Um, he's still him. You know, we still working hard and then soaking everything up. How much how much of a role has Matt Barnes played with you guys? Kind of how's that what's that balance been like this year in terms of Coach Halfley coaching you guys and Coach Barnes coaching you guys? Um, they always have their input on uh, anything that we're doing or that we're learning. And like I said, everybody is different, so we get input from each one, so it's good. Seven, you're playing a lot this year, and, and you're probably setting yourself up for a future starting role, I would think, in future seasons. Just speak about your role this year and, and maybe your, your plans for future seasons. <laughs> um, um, I, have a, uh, I have a good future ahead of myself. And um, like I said, I'm just keep soaking everything in. Uh, just worry about the moment right now, you know, and um, just keep working, honestly. Let's do what I do. How much film have you guys watched so far in Clemson's offense? Uh, you know, we... We got, we got something good going on. What do you? What's your early thoughts? I know you can't give away any secrets. Just in general, what are your early thoughts? Like, what stands out about their offense the most? Um, you know, uh, they're they're a good team. You know, Clemson, one of maybe uh, the hardest teams we probably faced, I mean, faced, and uh, you know, they they are, they're well around. They're good. Is it exciting getting to go up against a team like that that's got a couple highly touted receivers and kind of getting to prove yourself against those guys? Yeah, it's very. Uh, a lot of people don't think, you know, that we're going to do whatever, but, I mean, we just got to show the world. Seven, how much has, that was just for yourself, maybe you get a sense the whole kind of second unit among the DBs, has this confidence really grown over the last maybe three or four games? Yeah, of course. Uh, we always knew we can do it. We just have to show it. Do you guys feel like you have an underdog mentality going into this game? Always, always. Every game we come in, and we 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 looking to work. Do the older guys talk to you about what happened in 2016 and about how you make sure that doesn't happen again? Nah, nah. We're not really focused on the past. I haven't really actually. They haven't really brought it up. So there's two there's two big time wideouts that uh, Clemson's got though. I mean, what stands out about them is you watch them on video. They they like to take advantage. Think of their height too, right? Or there sometimes mismatches they've been in this year and last year in the championship game against Alabama. But just what stands out about those guys? Seth? Uh, you know, they're they're different than uh, what we faced this year, and uh, you know, we just gonna bring to the table what we do and we play in our games. Yeah. How would you describe when One you last watch question, when you when you've watched uh, Trevor Lawrence on tape? Uh, what stands out about him? Is he 
is he willing to take a shot? I mean, is he? I mean, how would you how would you describe him from a from a quarterback play standpoint? Uh, I feel like he, uh, he's uh, very smart. You know, make quick decisions. But you know, we gotta um, you know, so we just gotta do our thing. Great, seven. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks seven. seven.